Hello, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm going to talk about why it is when we stop needing the relationship, which isn't the same thing as not wanting it, but when we stop needing the relationship, we can finally manifest it. You'll hear stories over and over again about people who no longer feel the need for their specific person. They no longer feel a need for a partner. That, that real lacking and desperate feeling goes away. And then the person comes back in. I have stories like this as well. Um, one of my main experiences of manifesting a specific person, which I wasn't trying to do, but happened many years ago, when I stopped feeling desperate for him, or when I stopped feeling a very strong need for him, he showed right back up into my reality. So why does this happen? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. Before I jump in, I just want to let you know I am in Tulum, Mexico, and I'm so happy to be here. This is actually a light manifestation that I have had for a long time. Tulum has been in the back of my mind as a place to visit. This is my first time here um, for many years. And it started to become more activated, and meaning I started to feel more and more like I wanted to come to, to Tulum. And then it happened, and I'm here. So it was a very easy manifestation. I'm going to be here for a few weeks. So yeah, I'll be recording videos for you from here. Okay, so let's talk about this. Why, when we stop needing a relationship, does it manifest? Well, I mean, if you're familiar with my content, if you're familiar with my videos, you probably are going to know what my answer is. And the, it's very simple. It's like the reason anything manifests in our 3D reality is because we believe it's who we are. Like who you believe in, a, in the most predominant way you are is what you're going to keep seeing in your 3D reality. So when we feel a need or a desperation or a grasping for a particular person, what that means is that we are in very strong lack around not having them. That's what that real graspy feeling is. It's a feeling of this person, this thing is missing from my reality. They're not here so it makes me panicked and I feel the need to grasp after them. Now, many people probably arrive to the journey of manifesting a specific person from that place because it's really uncomfortable to feel like you need someone. They're not here. It activates all of our inner child wounding or our wounding from our past. So it activates feelings such as I've been abandoned. I'm not wanted. I'm not desired. Um, I'm not worthy. I'm not loved. That's what um, needing someone, it goes hand in hand with activating those inner wounds. And our natural response when we feel that inner wounding is to chase after that person and try to get them back. What we're really doing is try to, trying to not feel this way anymore. We're trying to not feel desperate anymore. We're trying not to feel needing. We're trying to not feel that missing feeling. That's really what we're doing, right? When we are grasping after anything, we really want deep down to not feel that desperation anymore, that needing, that lack. Because it's very uncomfortable to feel that way, right? And I know a lot of people relate to this. So why we manifest more of the person not being in our reality is because we are in an extreme state of lack. Even if we're saying in our mind, they're here, they're here, they're here, but we still feel most of the time like we've been left, like they're not here, like um, someone, someone or something is missing. We're going to keep manifesting a reality where that person is missing from our reality because it's just a direct reflection. Out here in the 3D reality is a direct reflection of what you most predominantly feel. So that's why my work really focuses so much on self-love and even healing inner child, your inner child, if that resonates for you. Because 
what these practices, practices such as self-love and healing the inner child, what they do is they take away this desperate lacking feeling. When you start a practice of deep self-love, and I have a couple courses down there that teach how to do self-love in a really profound way. When you start a practice of self-love, what automatically happens, it feels like you start to fill up. Your cup starts to fill up. You start recognizing that you are amazing. You start recognizing that you are incredible. You start realizing that nothing is actually missing from your life in this moment. That is a spiritual awakening, actually, when we, when we recognize that nothing is missing in this moment even though it looks like something's missing out there. Because you are an infinite being, you can cultivate the inner experience of having anything you want with your imagination in this moment. Nothing is off limits to you. And so when we start to feel full and loved and beautiful and incredible and worthy by doing self-love, by showing up for our inner child, When she or he is feeling abandoned, we show up for them. You'll start to, like I'm saying, feel full and the desperation and neediness goes away. You fill up and that desperation just automatically fades away. The reason it fades away is because you can't be living in these two separate states at the same time. You can't be desperate and full at the same time. So the more you focus your time and energy on filling up your cup, knowing that you are worthy, knowing that you are incredible, what's going to happen is this is going to become the more dominant state. And then your 3D reality is going to start giving you a reflection of that. And I have so many clients and students who talk about this, like the the amount of success they've had with doing even just self-love. It's kind of the first step, but doing even just self-love the success they have with fully changing their 3D reality just because they start to think they are incredible and the love and attention that starts to come to them. So this is really step one, and it can be your only step in changing your reality, even with a specific person. Because when you know that you are chosen and worthy and wanted and all of these incredible things, you are going to receive the reflection of that. Once the baseline of self-love is created and you really are living most of the time, you don't have to do this perfect, but a lot of the time you're able to access your inner experience of feeling like you're an incredible person, then it's much easier to start to create the reality of like, of course, that person would want me too. that person being a specific person. Now, what's different about this wanting than needing is you don't need them to want you. You don't need them to want you. What that means is you don't feel desperate. You don't feel like you are incomplete without this person's love. That position, while it may seem like, you know, through through a particular lens, people may think that that's unromantic or whatever they think about it, but that you don't need someone, but it's actually the absolute best place to create a a relationship from, from the position of knowing that you are whole and that you are going to be loved no matter what. Imagine what you'll create in your life if you are living in a reality where you know that you are whole, you know you are beautiful, and you know you are worthy of love, that you're going to create a continued reflection of being loved, of being worthy, of being whole. So this is why when we stop needing a person, they can often come in. You'll hear it over and over again. I know you have all heard success stories like this. It's not the only way to manifest a specific person, but it's very common. When people switch the focus off the specific person, they switch the focus onto themselves, they build themselves up through self-love, that's when someone comes back around. Again, not always. That's not the only way to do it, but it's a very common pathway to manifest a specific person. And it's simply because life is reflecting you back to yourself. If you know you are so incredible, so worthy, the most amazing person in the world, you're going to get that reflection. And it's very likely you're going to get it from your specific person too. Okay, guys? 
So thank you so much for being here with me in this video. If you like the video, please make sure you subscribe to my channel, you like the video and you comment below. Also know I have lots of courses below. Ooh, 15 courses, 14 courses, there's a lot down there. There's courses on healing your inner child that is free yourself. That's the title of the course. And also there's a couple self-love courses down there so you can check them out below. Okay, see you soon, bye.